www.kcbnews.com. And new technology is coming to the state crime lab in Tucson. The equipment is designed to detect drugs in people's system, including marijuana. And as News 4 Tucson's Zach Briggs explains, this technology aims to narrow down the time frame of when someone last used cannabis. The governor's office of highway safety awarded a $200,000 grant for the purchase of an upgraded piece of forensic equipment. It's called a gas chromatograph mass spectrometer. The system is designed to discover drugs through lower levels in a person's blood or urine sample. It gives us a, a more detailed fingerprint pattern of a specific drug. Forensic scientist Estuardo Miranda says this new instrument should prove effective in identifying THC levels for DUI cases. We can with more certainty say whether the drug was used prior to driving or was it a day or two days before. Various components of marijuana can be detected in a person's body at least 30 days after initial use. Miranda says the equipment aims to narrow down the time frame. Other metabolites can give us that indication of when the drug was used and narrow the window instead of days, we can bring it down to hours of use. There were over 25,000 DUI arrests in Arizona in 2016, with over 4,000 related to drug impairment. Miranda noted the frequency of marijuana-related DUIs has prompted the need for upgraded tools, in turn, better serving law enforcement agencies. Since it'll be a newer instrument, it will re require less maintenance, we can keep the instrument running at all times to get those cases turned around. Zach Briggs, News for Tucson. The Las Vegas Sheriff is defending his department against charges.